Digimon was my childhood. And to hear the original cast are coming back for the new season. <laughs> this time they're all grown up and I'm like, what, what? And so I told you better get together in this season because I shipped those two way before I even heard of the term shipping. <sighs> I'm calm. I'm calm. So to celebrate this amazing I will be reviewing the first Digimon movie. Or if you're in Japan, movies one, two, and three. Three? As in adventure three! Digimon, Digital Monsters, a franchise with a concept so terrifyingly awesome, you will send a letter to Google that they will never read to ask them to invest in making their own. Digimon started out as a Tamagotchi clone and a fine good one. You can raise them and clean up their poop, but one thing you could do with Digimon that Tamagotchi was lacking was the ability to use them to kick the crap out of each other. With the toys catching on, Bandai gave us something that ended up being better than the toys. The Digimon TV show. Then the Mon Wars started. Digimon rules. Pokemon is so much better. Digimon's off a champion. Pokemon for life. Digimon for the win. Hey, hey ain't you the same person? I'm gonna come out and say this right now. Pokemon has better games, but Digimon has a better show. The characters are more three-dimensional, they all have a purpose and not just setting out to be the best. The concept is more interesting and the battles actually feel epic. If only they release all the good games outside of Japan. But you know the biggest selling point? They all age! But Digimon isn't perfect, and to celebrate Digimon Tri being released in the coming weeks, I will be reviewing the lowest point in the franchise's history. So let's check it out. This is Digimon the movie. So we open up with... What? Angela Anaconda? This is part of it? I get the idea that cinemas like to have a short before their movies, but... This? Live action Cinderella has frozen forever. Ice Age 4 had the longest daycare. Digimon the movie has Angela Anaconda. The first time I saw this was on VHS. Angela Anaconda was before the Digimon movie, but VHS is like to do what the cinemas did. Trailers, short, then movie. But imagine my shock when I ripped the DVD to find this at the very beginning of the movie. The movie is already an abridged version of the free film, so why bother filling up the movie with this crap? Why not use more footage from the original source? To find out, I recently called the head of the now defunct Fox Kids Network to find out. Hi, is this Haim Sivan? Yes. Hi, um, why did you put Angela and Akana at the start of the Digimon movie? Uh. Hello? Hello? Hello, Ioli! So how do I explain Angela Anaconda? Um... Ah! This is Angela Anaconda. So the kids are waiting for the Digimon movie to begin and that's pretty much it. Angela imagines herself turning into a Digimon to stop the evil teacher from blocking a view and it's just a shorter episode compared to the actual show. And thank god because this show is awful. Characters with less personality than a cardboard box, animation that Phoenix Games would be embarrassed at, and jokes that makes Two and a Half's Men's final episode look like a masterpiece. Goodbye Angela and Akanda, you will never be missed. <laughs> no one stopped watching Fox Kids after you left. Finally, let's begin! Oh my... Completely forgot about this. Digipuns with... Pengon... Pengu... Ping... Um... These types of images! Sliding across the screen in beat with a terrible rap. First we had South Park's in Bread Sister and now we have a promotional theme song that even Will Smith will be embarrassed at. Okay, unless the very next scene is so kick-assingly awesome, then I'm out! So come on Digimon, remind me why I loved you as a child. Fuck me as a dinosaur fighting a parrot! With everything else before I let you down. Here's a dinosaur fight a parrot! <laughs> Yeah. So we begin eight years ago, just as a digi egg is coming out of Ty and Kari's computer. 
Hikari, who is narrating, tells us that as this is happening, some kid called Willis was receiving his digi egg at the exact same time. So who is Willis? Why does he matter? It turns out he doesn't! Remember I said that in Japan these movies are 1, 2, and 3? Well, Digimon the movie, or at least the English version, is actually three stories from the original Japanese release stitched together. Act 1, Digimon Adventure, takes place before the events of Adventure 01, where two of the original characters first meet a Digimon. This was created as a pilot for the show, hence why it won't have some of the aspects that made the show famous, like the Digivolution sequence. Act 2, A War Game, is really the main feature of this movie because there is a plot that has a follow-up 30-minute OVA and connections to the show. Act 3, Hurricane Touchdown, the only one that has the character Willis in it, is officially non-canon. So throughout the entirety of this movie, all we keep hearing about is some kid called Willis who is only connected to the last movie, Hurricane Touchdown. So technically, because the three movies are stitched together for the English audience, technically, the entire movie is non-canon. I just blew your mind. Therefore, victory is mine. of the year ladies and gentlemen just leaves the kids in the house with the door unlocked and yes i know japan is considered the safest country in the world in terms of crime but who leaves a seven-year-old son with a scolding frying pan they take care of their digimon but can't seem to control him as argumon makes a mess on the street with kari on his back for some reasons unexplained another digimon comes from the sky and begins fighting greymon mm, i'm greymon now greymon and um I don't know his name. Let's just call him Parrotman. Oh, come on! Really? Really? After their battle, they disappear without a trace. I like how there are kids watching this and no adults are awake or come to see the noise even as the sun is up. What the fuck happened here? How is it possible that this has yet to be reported? Wait, please no. Oh god, my fucking car! We cut to four years later where a computer virus is wrecking havoc all across the world and even affecting military computers to force a launch of their nuclear missiles. Digimon is a family friendly movie, right? It's up to Tai, Izzy, Argamon and Tentamon to take it down. But faster than you can say, Prodigious! Argamon and Tentamon fail and so they must recruit some of their old friends Matt and TK along with Garbamon and Padamon. Diaboramon keeps saying he's looking for his creator and through lazy localization scripting, Willis comes out to say he feels guilty as this is his fault. Again tied into the fact that Willis only connects these three stories through the English dub. Garbamon and Argamon walk Digivolve and still fail as the emails coming from all across the world are slowing him down. So through the power of Believe! Ty and Matt get transported into the internet to be by their Digimon side. Why doesn't Diaboramon take them out? He's got millions of clear shots! So, shall we take them out? Nah. What are they going to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna really kick him in the ass! War Greymon and Metal Gurumon DNA Digivolve to Omnimon through the power of hope and love. Oh crap, we should have took them out. No, really? Omnimon manages to take Diaboramon just in time before the missile destroys Japan. My speedboat! I just finished paying it off with my inheritance! You! You saw what happened here, right? No, sir, I just got here. Bullshit! You're gonna be my witness for my insurance. Sir, you're hurting me. Damn, this part of the movie was so good. I wish Digimon were real. Maybe they are real. If this movie has taught me anything, is that I have to believe. Okay, Ponymon, it's time to Digivolve. Digivolve. Well, what years are you to me then? In Act 3, we finally meet Willis, who's been attacked by one of his twin Digimon. Willis explains that Diaboramon was his doing as he created a Digi-Egg in hopes of getting more Digimon. The gritty 
bastard. I don't even have one and he was a third? How selfish is he? Hello? Is anyone in there? Look, sorry to bother you, but I was just involved in a car crash and, and can I use your phone? Go away, you filthy peasants! Before the digi egg could hatch, it was affected by a virus. And somehow, while in the field without computers or any form of internet, the virus tracks down Willis and affects one of his Digimon. That's the saddest story I ever heard. Dude, are you okay? I'm the one with the problem, not you. Get over it. Okay. Do you have multiple personality disorder? We have a bit of a road trip with the new generation of Digigestants, and that's pretty much it. Unless you watch the show, the characters don't have any personality that you would be able to notice. The third act is just filled with boring filler and character development that you would need an expensive magnifying glass to be able to find. Hello! I've watched both generations before this movie, and I know the characters well enough, but even I don't care for them. Twilight got me more invested in the characters than this third act. Twilight! TWILIGHT! So Kokomon arrives and we get more, and I never thought I would say this, boring fighting. Oh come on, you really need to declare a defense move. Do they declare everything they do in their daily lives? Open the fridge! Drink some Pepsi! Right the Oh, shut up! God! But they ain't strong enough, so Kokomon takes the Digimon one by one until Kokomon uses the virus to heal himself and reverse time. No, they don't explain their ability to affect time and space. Just go with it. It's nearly over. To try and stop the virus from completely corrupting it. Well, it's back to the beginning. Do you mean go back to Colorado? It means go back in time to when the virus first attacked Kokomon. That's it! What did you say? That's it! That's it! There's no doubt about it, he definitely said shit! That's my job! We don't have the strength to defeat him. The new Digimon will have to use the power of the Golden Digi Eggs. Come on, we have the Digimon to our Mega Form so we can release the Golden Digi Egg! Holy shit, it's happening! See, only I can say shit! The only Digimon to digivolve to their ultimate forms were the popular ones. We finally get to see Padamon and Gatamon to their ultimate forms? <laughs> so So they use the last of their strengths to release the golden digi egg. Do the Digipons ever digi stop? Digi how? With the ability to golden armor digivolve and the point in time where the virus affecting Pokemon is at its weakest stage, they bring him down to his normal form. Kinda like how Greymon digivolved to his evil form Skull Greymon in Adventure 1. But you wouldn't know that unless you're a fan of the show, so for you know, this could be him dead! So to take down Kokomon by destroying the virus thanks to very simple instructions. Destroy the virus! No shit, Sherlockmon. Kokomon is good again, Willis never returns in the shows or movies, the Digidestins have a digification, and we all live happily ever after. So, that was Digimon the movie. Without being a biased Digi fan, what do I think of it? Angela and Akanda? Why is this even here? Digimon Adventure is okay. As a standalone OVA or as a pilot, it serves its purpose. Our war game. It was decent enough, although they could have been more creative with it. They were in the internet after all. Why not open websites to assist in battle? Like Pornhub. All you need to do is find a penis to flick and wave a wound. It did, however, bring up an interesting point. Like, if an enemy acted fast enough, could they interrupt a Digivolution? Turns out they could, and for fans, that was awesome to see. Hurricane Touchdown? A huge, huge disappointment, especially learning it's not canon. In the Japanese versions, Willis is only mentioned and seen in the third act. And it wasn't canon! Interesting fact, it's established in the show if a Digimon dies in the real world, they stay dead. But because the third act is non-canon, it follows different rules. And Kokomon, who dies at the end of the story, 
comes back as a digi egg in the real world. I guess the idea of monsters coming out of the computer was too dark for children. Digimon as a whole is a great idea for a show. The toys and Tamagotchi like Digivices were a neat idea which helped spawn the show. And although it was mainly created to help sell more toys, it was still pretty good. It may be considered very corny and does have flaws, but it does have a charm to it that makes Digimon as a whole very memorable. However, the English version of this movie is the lowest point in the franchise. It doesn't cater to newcomers, which was the English dub's intention. The story doesn't make us care for these characters, regardless if you are a fan of the show or not. And overall, it comes off as a complete mess. Now, I may get a lot of negative comments about this, but in my opinion, but my opinions is why you're here for, all right? As much as the soundtrack is mocked for including random pop songs, the sound direction in the English dub, in my opinion, is a lot better. The original Japanese sounds a lot more quieter and while it's argued that the purpose was to create a movie intense atmosphere, I think the sense of fast paced action suits this movie and franchise a lot better and it gives the plot a sense of urgency and it makes it more exciting. Yes there are way too many pop songs and it could have been substituted for more original orchestra pieces because if they had the budget for the licenses, I'm sure they had enough to make their own. After watching the English and then the Japanese version of each OVA, I didn't feel the same excitement and enjoyment I did from the English because of how dull and quiet the sound effects and music was at times. <laughs> He's too strong for our Digimon now! Then they're just gonna have to Digivolve again! Not so fast! He's gotta Digivolve faster! Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen or what? The coolest thing I've ever seen in my life is a dinosaur fighting a parrot! Overall, a bare cash in, but it does some things right, just not enough to make it worth watching. Thank you, Digidestance, for watching my Digimon review. And remember, guys, to keep on being awesome. See you later, guys. You know, a wise man once said to me, uh, I can't remember, I was too drunk at the time. But thank you so much for watching. You have no idea how much this means to me. But you know what will certify you for being 100% awesome? Is if you like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Even if you hate this video, dislike it. Because that helps me make much better content for you. But until next time, guys, remember to keep on being awesome.